Hi right, guys, Alec Pierce. Tech Tips Scuba. Tech Tips teaching us a little bit more about how regulators work. Today we want to talk about Venturi's because Venturi's always comes up. When you go into a dive store today to buy a regulator, you don't buy a regulator. No, 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 no. You buy a highly efficient, very technologically designed breathing device. So what salespeople do in dive stores, they go, oh, this regulator has a Venturi. That's why it's so expensive. And the Venturi makes it so easy to breathe. No matter how deep you are or how hard you're working, you always get large volumes of air. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. It's well worth the extra money. Eh, let's talk about it. Then you decide. I never tell people what they should or shouldn't do. I try to educate. What is a Venturi, first of all? Well, a Venturi is a device that increases the speed of the air. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. And by increasing the speed of the air, it can have an effect on another device, say a regulator. So the Venturi in a regulator increases the speed of the air, and by doing so, it affects the breathing. Let me show you a couple. I got two or three here that I can show you. Okay, so this is one style of Venturi. All right, this is from a Mare's MR12 II. The Mare's MR12 II is a famous regulator. It's been around forever, forever. First came out in the 60s, late 60s or 70s maybe, and it's still out today, same thing. They just keep changing the color and giving it a new name. But it's essentially the same regulator. Now that doesn't mean it's bad, it means it's a good regulator. If you don't have to change the design very much, you must have had a good reg to start with, and that's the case with the Mari's MR12 II, fine regulator, okay? The air comes in here from your first stage, simple enough, goes in like this, travels over to the valve and stops until you suck in the lever coming out. You've all seen this. If you've seen my recent video on, on, uh, on how second stages work, you know that you have a diaphragm. You suck, the lever goes down, and the air is released and it goes in. But if you look closely on this particular regulator, it's kind of neat. As the air comes in through this hole, hits the valve, stops, and you draw in, the valve opens, some air goes through, and out the mouthpiece into your mouth. But you see the tube? You see that tube right there? There's a tube that comes up like this. It's right in the airstream. It comes up like this, comes over here like this, and comes out in the mouthpiece. So a blast of air runs through that tube, and as that blast of air runs through that tube, the lateral pressure inside drops, and the diaphragm is sucked in even more. Well, if the diaphragm is sucked in even more, you know what happens. You get more air. Exactly right. And that tube goes out into the mouthpiece, and there's a hole in there, and I'm not sure if Kevin can see it. It's not terribly important. You can see the tube coming out in there. There's the hole right there. And this design has not changed in the Mari's MR12 II in many, many years. That tube does what I just illustrated. It takes some of the air up through that tube, takes a shortcut, that air goes faster into the mouthpiece, blasts it into your mouth, draws the diaphragm in even more so you get more air. So that's what the Venturi does. I'm going to show you a few more of these and then we'll talk about how this feels and if it's good for you. Here's another one, which is very, very similar. Here's another one. Uh, this is another brand. <clears throat> Air comes in through the hole in the end down here. Simple enough. Like so. You draw in on the diaphragm. This lever's on the other side. Doesn't matter. You draw in the diaphragm. The lever goes down. Valve opens. Air comes in. You can see right here, you can see that little plate comes up like so, and also goes into the mouthpiece. And that, the same as with the Mare's, has a hole underneath it. So some of the air, when you draw, first draw in, open the valve, some of the air is under that plate, races up like this and goes into the mouthpiece. Hold on, Kevin. And you can see in there. You see it in there? See that opening? It comes out through there. Same thing, exactly the same thing. A little different design. Instead of a tube on the outside of the body, there's no tube out here, you see, they have that on the inside. You can't see it. That's the Venturi. Same thing. That air speeds up. As it speeds up, it draws a diaphragm in even more, and you get a blast of air. Here's one more. Let me show you another one. Here. There's a Scuba Pro. Current regulator. You all know Scuba Pro. Good, good company. This is a Scuba Pro. <clears throat> this is their Venturi. It's a little different. Here we go. Let me explain how this works. There's the lever. You see it on my finger. Air comes in through the hose. Stops. You draw in on the diaphragm, like this, the lever goes down, air starts to flow. And the air starts to flow out through the mouthpiece. Now, if you look through that mouthpiece right now, this is normal. This is a normal breathing position. If you want the Venturi effect, 
then you simply turn with the little lever on the side, turn that so it's like this. So now the air comes up to the mouthpiece, same as before, but now it can go right through there quickly. And that speed, that additional speed, sucks the diaphragm in, and you, know, you, get, you get a blast of air. It's similar to breathing. You're breathing along normally. <sighs> then on one of those inhalations, you press on the purge button. <sighs> you get a whole bunch of air. That's what it feels like, yeah. I'm going to show you one more that's really, really slick. My favorite by far. This is Decor. Excellent company. Big, big company based in uh, Illinois. And they made fantastic rigs. One of my favorites for many, many years. Uh, long gone now. Well, gone for quite a while anyway. And Decor made beautiful equipment. And they also had some pretty innovative ideas. And they wanted to have a Venturi. So they had, uh, they developed the same idea. If you can look through here, Kevin, you can see there's a couple of veins in here. You see them? Yeah, and they catch the air. And I'm going to turn it around now. Stay still. You turn around. You can see how they go out. The air comes out through the mouthpiece. There like that speeds up the air. Okay, but he said they had, they had one more innovation. This is the lever. This is this is Dacor's lever. See it? It's the spring-loaded lever, like all the other ones. But it has something really special. I don't know if you can see. Can you see in there, Kevin? Uh, where the heck is it? There it is. See that hole? Oh, that's where the air comes out. That hole is facing right into the mouthpiece, right into those two tubes that increases the speed of the air. But there's something else that's pretty slick. You see on the side of the lever, can you see right there on the side of the lever, that little tang? See, this is the lever here. I'm going to put fingers on the lever, move the lever. See that little tang that moves up and down with it? Yeah, it's showing there, Kevin. That little tang. As you breathe in hard, that tang goes down and it's got a little twist in it and it catches the air and makes it twist even faster. Now, this is pretty neat because what this means is that you don't have the venturi effect normally if you breathe in and out just go in and out a little bit the lever doesn't go down very far it just goes down a little bit less you see but if you need a whole bunch of air let's say you're you're, you're a big diver like kevin and then you're swimming against a strong current and you start needing it well what happens is you breathe heavier you suck the diaphragm in farther so and then what happens is that little tang goes down into the stream of air twists it and sends it out just like a garden hose and really increases the speed of the air. See that? Yeah. It only works if you draw in hard, like that. If you just draw in a little bit, it doesn't do much. Draw in hard, you get a strong Venturi effect. Pretty slick, huh? Fully automatic Venturi. whoop de doo Is it good? Well, first of all, you need to understand what happens when you use the Venturi. If you do not have a Venturi, you draw in. Hopefully your regulator is set up to breathe fairly easily so you don't have to draw in very hard. Oh, that's great. If you have a Venturi effect, whether you do it manually, as with Skiva Pro, or it was automatic with the other three that I've shown you, when you draw hard on the regulator, more air comes through. The air speeds up, and as that air passes through, the lateral pressure drops even more, and is as if you were sucking the diaphragm in really hard. So here's what happens. Oh my God, it fills your lungs up. So if you're drawing through your regulator r normally, without the Venturi effect, pretty fish, oh, that's great. And then for some reason, you need a lot of air, you're drawing it harder, the Venturi takes effect. Yeah, that's gonna be an awful bang. Eh? Fills you up, even big lungs like Kevin's get filled right up. Oh, wow, I could swim forever. <laughs> I'm hamming it up a little bit, but that's what the Venturi effect does. It does not make it easier to breathe. It might feel like it's easier to breathe because you get a whole bunch of air, but no, it takes the same effort to start the diaphragm. Same effort, not easier. And then, then it fills you. Once the airflow starts, you get the Venturi effect and you get the blast of air. But the airflow, to start the airflow, takes the same effort. So if your sales rep in the dive store is saying the Venturi makes it so much easier to breathe, mm, he may simply not be technically inclined. He may simply not understand. Now you do. Do you need it? That's your decision. A lot of regs come with it. If you pay extra bucks for a reg, you're going to get a Venturi, like it or not. 
But now at least you understand what it is, how it works, and uh, it affects your life. But I hope that was interesting for some of you guys. You take care. I'll talk to you again soon, Alec. Pierce Tech Tips.